Hey everyone, grid gap is deprecated and it just gap now. And the coolest thing is we can even use it with the flex box. Yay! I know everyone is excited and I am too. So if you are familiar with grid, you must know what grid gap is. Now we can use that gap in flex box as well. So let's do gap. So we can see we have this gap in the flex item and I'm using Firefox uh, because it displays uh, flex and grid. So let's go to the inspector and turn on this grid. So this is the I flex item one, this is flex item two, and this is flex item three and this is the gap. We have gap only in the first and the second element that is we don't have gap in here or either here so this is really an exciting feature of css and it also works in column so if we will do flex direction column then the gaps are here so gaps are here as we can see and we can even do something like this so and if we add a media query, add rate media, max width 500 pixel. Then if I take my flex container, flex direction column. And now we can do something like this. If we hit 500 then it's gonna stack so so this is really cool but the uh, one thing is it's yet not supported by safari so if we go to mdn we can use this gap in flex layout and in grid layout and also in multi column layout so this is really exciting but if we look at the support, so it's not yet supported by the Safari browser, but it will be there soon. So it's really a new and very exciting feature of CSS. Hope you guys like it. Thank you for watching.